What are the shitty aspects of being a Hogwarts student that the books gloss over? Uh, having to write with a quill on parchment. This has to be a pain to deal with. Getting fucking murdered by not taking the right staircase. Forces you can't control fucking murder you for going to the bathroom at night. It's touched briefly about the Weasley's poor economic situation but the fact that you need to buy your stuff for every year including a wand the first year which is very expensive so if you come from a really poor family you'd get really crappy second-hand stuff or possibly having to skip a year or several just because you can't afford the necessities to attend the classes detention is fucking brutal as an 11 year old first year student your detention is to search for a wounded unicorn in the forbidden forest full of giant spiders and multiple other monsters that will slaughter and eat you with just another 11 yo and a dog all those moving stairs you have to memorize the patterns of movement of it probably takes hours for a new kid to get to class because of those stairs. The only person who can't do magic is the janitor, the one janitor for the entire castle grounds. Half the teaching staff sucks and the leadership just tolerates it. The blatant favoritism for Gryffindor. Not having any basic education classes. You need to write an essay. Too bad you never learned English. You need to budget your money. Too bad arithmancy is an option and you likely didn't take it. You want to learn basic skills like first aid or cooking using magic. Nah, but you'll be able to duel and protect yourself against dangerous creatures. You can literally be raped with a love potion and it's not frowned upon. They always talk about how superior they are to muggles. Yet muggles have telephones and they're still using birds to communicate. The rules are ridiculous, safety is a joke. Every person I've ever known that went to a boarding school had mental baggage from it. It's awful. I gotta buy my own expensive ass equipment just to test the hands of fate every year at a school that has a higher student mortality rate than graduation rate. Hermione starts making a move on you. You reciprocate the feeling a month into dating it turns out that was your creepy stalker neighbor. Using a polyjuice lotion. You've heard of the bat bogey curse. What about a snake pube curse? You can't prove that spell doesn't exist how your studies are affected by the fact people keep coming to your school to kill one student. Imagine feeling like you finally built a rapport with a teacher but then by the final term it turns out they're either a or a werewolf and either has to leave or are dead. Hope your parents know that magic interferes with technology. Better hope your condition is treatable with magic so you don't enter the school wearing a hearing aid or a pacemaker. All the normal school subjects are condensed into muggle studies, which has been shown to have a lot of inaccuracies. You ever see the prequel Star Trek where teleportation is still new and buggy? People were scared shitless of it, and it was only rarely used in emergencies. The reason was sometimes there would be a mistake and half your body wouldn't teleport, ripping you in half. Well, Hogwarts has the same thing. It's just called apparition instead of teleporting. And splinching instead of ripping your body apart. The school requires everyone to experiment with this. Shared dorm rooms where do you wank? Where are students supposed to snog? Do they bring their partners back to the dormitory and just draw the curtains? There is a tree on the ground that kills you if you get to close. There were passages that let students off the grounds and the teachers don't care. People there are werewolves and no one is trained in health and safety. Owl shit in your morning porridge because someone had to get his fucking firebolt sent to him. Also the fact that sports teams clearly don't have regulation equipment and teams with rich family. 
members can just buy their way to victory. On second thought this may be the most brutally honest lesson Hogwarts teaches. Also also hope you like Quidditch. If you're more of a cricket kind of Brit you're out of luck. It's like being in a Texas high school. Except replace Quidditch with football. You are very likely to die as the teachers don't seem to have any basic medical training. Let's talk about how love potions. Cough cough, forced by passing of consent by using an ingested substance to render a target helpless. Aren't considered dark or dangerous. A girl giving a guy a love potion to get him to do the skiddly do with her. Voldemort's mom was seen as acceptable. Tom Riddle Sr. leaving his wife after she drugged him for months and he found out was the horrible thing. And don't get me started on an old dot man being allowed to use the imperious curse on an entire school. Years worth of students. Montague was stuck in limbo between the vanishing cabinets for weeks. And when he reappeared he was in the pipes. No one cared. I can't imagine that castle having any central heating or air conditioning is comfortable at all. The portraits watching you ank. Dude, do they ever poop or shower? Harry took a bath with moaning Myrtle and girls cried in the bathroom. But do the common rooms or dormitories have bathrooms? You have a chance of a ghost walking in on you while trying to take a fart shit. Constant terror attacks because some kid just won't die. The fact being a mugger born you get bullied to the ground. Meanwhile a single gun can kill a wizard before they can shout anything in response. That always bothered me. Just unload a gun into a Death Eater. Having a point system that is seemingly arbitrarily calculated and provided by all teachers. Including the ability for teachers who are the heads of the houses to also give points to students. Willy nilly. A teacher that is already biased towards Slytherin can get annoyed at a Gryffindor student for the smallest thing and find some rule that they broke to deduct literally as many points as they want while providing as many as they want to a random Slytherin for what they perceptively believe is a good deed. Same for all of the other teachers. But we all know who the books painted as the types to do this sort of thing. These points vary in the amount and, to my knowledge, there are no limit to how many can be taken or given. It's completely up to the person in charge, including prefects, to decide what is the worthy prize or punishment. Honestly, while the book showed this system being abused a few times, I'm surprised it was not more. Harry, Ron and Hermione are arrogant attention seekers. You're just a footnote in their self-important story. 